friends, it's the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. It is May 9th, I believe, and today we're going to plant my nine little Stonehenge cabbages. These are those organic seeds that I got 13 and only nine came up, and they're a little bit spindly, so we want to get them into the ground. Now, I last year made a tent out of frost blanket and willow whips. This year, now that frost blanket was seven or so dollars for the row, and then the willow whips, well I got them from a friend, but they're not easy to replace. So, but these, this was on sale at the store, Lee Valley, for seven dollars and fifty cents. And this is going to save me a whole lot more trouble than last year. Because this is the whole frost tent. And what this is going to do is this is going to go over the row of cabbage and not only is it going to protect it from frost but it's going to protect it from the cabbage moth worm um, this has this is a wonderful thing and I'm going to see if I can assemble it here and then take it outside all right now here's the end, one end and that is has a drawstring closure and these have a wonderful um, Ooh, let's get these off. These have pockets sewn right into the fabric. Now this wouldn't be difficult to make if you had the landscape fabric and all you have to do is save these. But all this is is a sheet of landscape fabric, not landscape fabric, excuse me, frost blanket. And it is about four feet wide and all they've done is put a line sewn a line across here to make a pocket for um, these if I can get them in to make a pocket for these tent well they're not tent pegs what are they folks tent poles and we're just going to slide this in here And then we're going to lay it down and we're going to do the same for the next one. Easy peasy, mac and cheesy folks. Okay, our tent's all assembled. Shall we take it outside and plant our cabbage? I just want to show you my garden is a lot. Well, not a lot, but it's a lot bigger than it was last year. And it's got an odd shape going towards the chicken coop. So that's where we're going to put our row of cabbage. Because it's bigger and no one's going to remember exactly where the edges are. So this will also help as a boundary marker. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to lay the tent out so I know exactly how long it is. It says how long it is. But rather than measure my row, I'm just going to stand one end up. And then just kind of stretch it out so I know where my row should go. There's number one is right there. Just so we get a rough idea of where, how long my row is going to be. There we go. Isn't that easy? I mean, you know, it's not even stuck in the ground and it's standing up. So there's how long our row is going to be. So let's just start planting. And yes, folks, I've got my hand covered. So we want one here. I'm hearing it my turkey. And these are pretty dry, so we'll make sure we give them a good watering. This garden has been, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. This garden has been an ongoing project now for about three years. We've been uh, building up the soil with compost and manure and all sorts of stuff. Not 
I'm definitely hearing a turkey. You want to give the cabbages enough room so that they can spread out because they'll get to be about this big with their outer leaves. give these guys a little drink. Remember what I said about dry roots, folks. Alrighty. They've all been watered. Now, let's put them to bed. This also works if you want to start some plants early. Let's get you in here. Just like that. And this will help protect them from frost. It'll let some rain through. Um, but uh, you still have to check and make sure you can water it. In other words, open the end here stick a hose in every once in a while and give them some water. Let's just close up the little tent end. There we go. Put you right there. Now I'm going to go to the other end. down in the ground. We just push the wires down into the ground and now we can straighten this all up. And there we go, folks. The cabbage is in. Woot! The row looks a little crooked, but this is the part of the garden that has a kind of a triangular end. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going in because I'm getting eaten alive by black flies. And uh, I'll be back when we, when we next plant something else. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half-acre homestead saying it's spring. I get to play in the dirt. Take care.